Today on Gilly's Outdoors, we're going to teach you how to catch kokanee. Watch these red sons of guns spawn. Mess up and somehow catch a couple good looking Bonneville cutthroats. What is it, cutthroat? Then we head right on over to fall where we catch some uh, cutthroats from shore on the fly rod. Oh yeah. For those of you who may be confuzzled about all this, we did the boat fishing in summer of 2018 and the fall fishing of, of, in fall of 2019. And uh, here's a good look at Soldier Creek Bay and Strawberry Marina and Strawberry Bay. This is Gilly's Outdoors. What is? It's a bobcat. He's just nice. gonna cross before we get there. I think it's going Don't down get the that road. log, Hunter. I know. Turn left. Oh! There you go. Like that. That way it looks kind of like that. What you doing again? Coolness. He's so cool. So when we troll for these kokanee in the summer, our setup consists of a dodger or a flasher um, with a two foot leader coming off of that and then a red or green or any color Christensen's Lakeshore squid and then on the hooks of that we will put power grubs of Berkeley grubs, orange or green and then we will put that about 20 or 30 feet out from the boat or 50 feet even and then drop it from either 30 to 60 feet really wherever the kokanee are on your fish finder and you may have to move around a bit to find those kokanee on your fish finder look at that kokanee holy crap that's man he's to the north that's a nice one. Oh, is it? Larry the Lumper, oh, Gabe. Hit, hit it. Hit, hit. Oh, God, I bet that's a four pounder. Holy crap. In the fall, these uh, same kokanee salmon turn into a crimson red and develop a humpback and get a hook jaw on them. They turn that crimson red because it attracts the other opposite sex and then they get the hook jaw to help intimidate other males so they can in turn fertilize more eggs and then they are using up nutrients in their body when they do this spawn. Uh, they're not feeding a lot more and then the DWR actually has a set time or a close date so you can't fish for these. I believe you can't fish for them after 7, 5, uh, September 15th, sorry, um, but yeah, so in the fall, just beware, don't, you don't really want to catch these kokanee or really mess with them at all, so yeah, just watch for that. For the hell of it, we went right up to Porcupine Reservoir and filmed some of the kokanee running there. Porcupine Reservoir is just right out of Avon, Utah, in northern Utah. And then you notice that these kokanee are a lot smaller than the strawberry kokanee, but they're still fun to look at and still kokanee still tastes great.
Not, or not right now, though. In the summer, they do. Wish I had, like, an underwater camera so you guys could see him better, but... See these guys. Oh, see, here's a little guy. Swim away from me. Here it goes. Our uh, kokanee setup of a dodger and a squid acts as a fish feeding on some kind of food. That's what the flasher is. It looks like a fish or something, and it shines and attracts other fish over to it. So most of the times we're getting kokanee on it, but you can also get cutthroat, which uh, we're not angry at at all. It's a cutthroat. No. <laughs> hey, even though we're going for kokanee, I still like a good cutthroat picture. Am I right? Cutthroat. More like 14 to 15, you knucklehead. But, uh, yeah. And, uh, so kind of to do the intro a little bit, a bit like I should have done driving up here. Uh, strawberry is one of the, is like the best cutthroat trout fishery in the, in Utah. Arguably one of the best. Along with, uh, their Bear Lake's pretty good. I don't think they catch, they might, I don't think they catch them as often as uh, here though. Strawberry and, let's see how little else. Uh, Otter Creek's good. It might be rainbows, actually. Otter Creek might be the best rainbow fishery, actually. But uh, here, I'm trying to think other cutthroat fisheries. Then you got Flaming Gorge, but no one goes there to just catch cutthroat usually. And then, trying to, I'm blanking now that I have to be like actually telling people things and, but uh yeah the strawberry's always been the actually the rec, state record uh, cutthroats out of strawberry but that was back in like the I think 50 or 60s I'll correct myself if I need to which I probably will need to but uh and I'll and I'll narrate how big and uh, how big he was Okay, I got the DWR state record uh, fish website pulled up here, and it seems that the catch and keep record at Strawberry for cutthroat trout was in 1930. Holy crap, that was way, that was a lot of moons ago. It was 26 pounds and 12 ounces, caught by Mrs. E. Smith. And then the catch and release record is also out of Strawberry. Oh, no, it's not out of Strawberry. It's out of East Canyon Reservoir by Curtis Robinson, caught in 2011, and it measured 31 and a half inches. Dang. And then uh, Strawberry is also a premier kokanee fishery, along with Flaming Gorge. People come here, 
and to go to Flaming Gorge to catch kokanee. And right now, back in the 90s, the, uh, the chub took over strawberry, and so the DWR had to kill it off with rotenone and do a rotenone treatment on it. And then after that, they uh, planted everything back in it like it was. They put the kokanee back in, they put the rainbow back in, they put the cutthroat back in. And uh, what am I trying to think? I read an article that was done, I think it was by Brett Prettyman, uh, the Salt Lake Tribune, back in like 2011 or something like that, where he interviewed, let's see, where he interviewed the, he interviewed the, one of the head biologists here and uh, asked him if he thinks that it grow as big a cutthroat as it used to here in Strawberry. And he said, no, it's probably not going to grow as big as cutthroat as it used as, as it used to. But there's probably going to be there is some mass. He said there's going to be some massive rainbows, and that was in like 2011 or even earlier than that, maybe 2005. I need to check. I'll fact check that and tell you guys. It was in fact 2005. But uh, he said that some of the largest rainbow will probably be grown here in Strawberry. So there's huge rainbows here in strawberry now but just got to be able to catch one just thought i'd let all the viewers know that uh we are pretty cheap so we don't like paying for camping when we go to strawberry we camp up above soldier creek in earlier in the video you saw here's the spot i caught my cuddy at and if you wait and watch you'll see uh me hit my toe on a rock Get my foot on a rock. That hurt. I'm a beginning fly fisherman, so that's why I might suck butt when you watch me fish with a fly pole. There we go. Oh, just got one. Oh, here we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Come here. Come on now. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, got him. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, that's a nice cutie. Uh, let's see if I can get this out now. <clears throat> oh, you were pretty. <clears throat> Thought I'd let y'all know that I caught this guy on a gold bead head woolly bugger. No, stop. Come on now. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Survive him? Maybe? Yeah, he's good. Dude, what are you talking about? That fish looks fine to me. Let's get a good video. Come here, buddy. Sweet, one down. For everyone that made it this far in the video, just wanted to give you a big thanks. Thanks for supporting Gillies Outdoors and watching. Just remember to like and follow our Facebook page at Gillies Outdoors, and then go like, watch, um, share, subscribe to our YouTube channels, YouTube channel at Gillies Outdoors. 
And uh, yeah, everyone have a good day and have fun in the outdoors.